All right. Hello, everybody. So I'm going to make this video because I've gotten a lot of questions about how to set up OBGME. Some people are really confused by it. Some people are not. Um, but so I figured this would help everybody out. So OBGME, what it does is it takes files located in either a folder or a zip file, and then it places them inside of a directory structure that is already pre-made. So it's perfect for things like games that already have directories, and then we're just modifying the files or adding new files. So from this, you need two things. You need OVGME, obviously, and then you can download that from Hoggit, and then you need your mod saved in whatever location you want. It could be saved anywhere you like. Uh, it just so happens that since I am the main maintainer of our mods, I keep a private repo that has all the current versions of it on, and that's also where they get uploaded to Dropbox from. But this also has mods that I use in a, like a day to day when I play. So with this you need two different install locations. You need an install location in your DCS install folder and you need an install location on your save games folder which is actually where DCS will pull majority of the new information from. So once you have OBG, OVGME set up you're gonna create a uh, two different configs. So first we're gonna go over here and hit new and if it's the first time installing it I believe this window automatically pops up. So don't be alarmed. So first what I'm going to do is my install folder, which is actually saved at the default location from the installer on this machine at least. So that's the main folder for DCS, the actual install. And then it's going to ask for your mods folder. Well, my mods folder are all stored inside of a Dropbox folder. So I have to go to users. In this case, this is a shadow machine, Dropbox. And then I have it saved under this folder called mod repo. Okay. Now what this does is a custom configuration backup folder. So you can back up your actual files to a different location. Otherwise, uh, OVGME just backs it up to the main folder, which would be the install folder. And when it's done with them, it removes them. So there we go. There's our first one. I'm going to do one for saved games. Because like I said, save games is actually where majority of your stuff is going to get installed at. In this case, you're going to go to your C drive, users, your username. There's a save games folder. From in there, you're going to go into your DCS folder. Now, majority of this is going to be DCS open beta, but if anybody's watching this that has a different version, it's going to be DCS or DCS open whatever. So from there, I'm going to go and select the save games folder for DCS. And now remember, all you need is the base folder. And then I'm going to point this at the exact same mods direct directory that I used on the last one. Because you don't necessarily need to change, you don't need two copies or anything like that. Because it's going to move all the files for you. So mod repo, create. Okay, so that's the easy way to get it set up for uh, the actual, ha where you need to install things. The other way you can do this as far as downloading our individual mods. Obviously you can download them from Dropbox, but you can also set up a repository. To do that, now this is by each config, just so you're aware, but it's going to update the same folder, so it shouldn't really matter. So you're going to go to Repositories, Configure. Now our repository is mods.gorgas.airforce slash repo Dot XML. Okay, so now that is added, and what you can do is you can query those mods. And for example, th I've been updating the skins, and the mod repo hasn't been updated yet, so uh, this will give you the idea. Now, you will get slower download speeds because the way this is actually just a server sitting there hosting these, uh, whereas Dropbox has a lot more bandwidth than we do. But this is an easy and convenient way to stay up to date on all the downloads. Otherwise, you can always download them from Dropbox and just stick them in your folder. Now, to actually activate the mods, we're going to go and do the install first, and there's instructions for all of these on there. For example, Gorgas Country. This adds the country of Gorgas to DCS World. Install into your DCS folder. So, I have the install selected. Enable. Now, for our mods, that's the only one that goes inside the install folder. There are other ones that you might run into. Uh, for example, like I use Molar's mods, which 
has uh, the cockpit mod and all that other stuff that needs to be installed in the save folder, but for our purposes, that's good enough. Okay, so from here, I'm going to select all the rest of them, and that gets saved to your save games folder. Now, I'm not going to bore the crap out of you by making you sit here and watch this, so I'll just go ahead and skip ahead. All right, we're back. So now you can see all, all the mods are in, turned on. Uh, now, say, for example, I want to go play on a public server. There's another feature I wanted to show you guys. So, for example, this I know is what I need for my install for our server. So I'm going to make a mod profile called Gorgas Server so that it will automatically, what I can do is I can automatically go up and I can just select this. And then it will automatically change the mods around. Now I'm not doing this with the other folder because it takes a little bit longer to install the mods, but the principle is all the same. So... Now I have a, have setups made, our profiles made up, so if, whether or not I'm going from the Gorgas server or to a public server, uh, that way you can differentiate, be like, you know which ones break as far as will allow you into check servers. So that way you can automatically just really quickly change them. So for example, I'm on, I would be on public server right now and say I wanted to hop on our server. I would just go through and select Gorgas, and it's going to automatically select all the mods that I had selected inside that profile. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks.